Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Resume Assistant inside of Word to create an amazing resume. So uh, before we get started, I wanted to make it clear that this feature is currently only available to Office 365 subscribers. So if you are not an Office 365 subscriber, this uh, may not be available to you. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've opened up Word. They're saying, you know, what what do you want to do right now? I want to create a resume. So I want to create one from a template so I don't have to think about it, design anything. So I'm going to click on more templates right here. And they've got a lot of templates here. I can click on resumes and cover letters, or I can just click on resumes if I'm not worried about a cover letter at this moment. So it's going to populate tons of different resume templates here for me to work from. So I can scroll through, I can find something that's appropriate, that uh, makes sense for my experience and my industry. Uh, so let's see here, we'll just do this modern initials cover, oh that's a cover letter, let's do the resume. So I can click on it, I can see it up close. And if I like this one, then I can click on create. If not, I can close this out, scroll through, find one that I do like. So I'm going to click on create. It's going to import this into, um, into Word here for me. So I can go through, I can update this information. So one of the most challenging parts I think about creating a resume is trying to decide what, what the heck to even put on there, especially if it's been a long time since you've worked on your resume, you know, what's what's modern, what's good to include on here. So that's where having this resume assistant is really handy. So you may have noticed that it just popped up automatically for me, um, makes it really easy. If you did the same thing and resume assistant did not open, all you need to do is click on review and then resume assistant is right here. Just click on it and that will open it. If you don't see it here, then it may not be compatible with your your version of Word. So what we can do here is click on get started. So then what you can do here is you can uh, type in the role and in industry that you would like to see examples for. So where this is helpful is if you are having trouble thinking of keywords for things that uh, you know should be on your resume, um, you can help, you can find them here. So um, the example provided on Microsoft's website for this is product manager. So if we want to, or project manager. So if we want to look for project manager and they're gonna start uh, auto-populating different, uh, different roles here. So then industry, their example is software, um, but whatever you want to look in. So I can just look for software. So computer software. And now I can see examples. So what this is going to do is just pull up public LinkedIn profiles and show all of these different examples here. So I can get a good look essentially at my competition. So if this is the industry I'm interviewing in, these these are people that I'm competing against. This is what's on their LinkedIn profiles. Um, these are the skills that they're presenting on there. So I can take a look and see, okay, do I have these skills? Do I have this experience? And I can see all sorts of ideas here. So it's a really interesting way to find some good quality content to put on my resume, to um, see what other people are putting on there. Um, and as a, as, a, as a guidance of what I should put on mine. So I can, uh, right here, I can add bullet, you know, bullet points if I want to for things that I did. So if I did some of these things, I can put them on my resume. So I hope this was helpful. Um, check out the resume assistant uh, in Microsoft Word. Really helpful in getting some good keywords for what you're looking uh, to put on your resume. You can also filter examples here. So if there are top skills, so say that um, you're really good at, uh, I don't know, at software development, you can see what people included on their LinkedIn profiles uh, in, in regards to whatever filters you use here. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my website, simplesoftwaretutorials.com, and have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.